Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Scream-themed charcuterie board for your Halloween get-togethers this fall. I promise it's not as hard as it looks, you can totally do this, and I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. I started with a wheel of brie cheese to make the ghost face character. I used the tip of a knife to kind of sketch out the outline of the head as well as the eyes and the mouth. My wheel of brie is quite large, so I decided to slice it in half, and obviously a comically large machete is the ideal choice for the job. Then I followed my sketch lines to carefully carve out the shape of the head, and for the eyes and the mouth, I just removed the top layer to make a little crater in the cheese. I placed two small blackberries and one large blackberry on the eyes and the mouth and then transferred it to the middle of a wooden cutting board. Then I added more blackberries surrounding the brie to create the hood and the upper body all the way down to the bottom edge of the cutting board. Then I started folding slices of meat in half and then in half again overlapping each other to look kind of pretty and then I added them to the board surrounding Mr. Ghostface. And from here, I kept working my way out to the edges of the cutting board. I added a variety of different crackers, overlapping them and tucking them underneath the meat slices. I cut the remaining brie into little triangles and added those around the edges as well. I rolled up some rectangular meat slices starting at the corners and then filled in any remaining gaps with more crackers and slices of meat. And here is the final result. I think this turned out so great. It's clearly ghost face without a doubt and I think it looks quite impressive for how easy it is to do. I hope you give this a try. I think you and your party guests are going to love it. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what sort of projects you'd like to see in the future. See you later.